y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is Alana and I do weekly beauty videos so if you are new here consider hitting that you know subscribe button right there at the bottom of the screen so you don't miss any more of my videos as you guys can tell from the title today's video is all about this really pretty ginger hair that I picked up on AliExpress and honey this hair is it's a complete vibe, but it was a complete ride, okay? So if you want to see how I got this look, as well as my pros and cons on this unit, then keep on watching, because it's coming right up. Hold up. All right, so jumping right into it, this is hair from Ali Coco. She's a 20 inch transparent unit in a copper color. And y'all, I'm terrified of the Rona. Normally I would show you guys what it looks like right when I take it out of the box, but your girl is scared, okay? So um, let's jump into the construction. They've got that elastic band method on the back, which I am here for. The construction of this unit is absolutely phenomenal. I really do love it, however, the lace is transparent lace, which is nice, but look at that, y'all. They put so much damn dye on that lace. I do not know what the hell happened. I do not know what they did, but this unit, oh my God, I went to hell and back to make it look somewhat decent. I wish I had gotten all on camera because I didn't, um, which I will do an updated video later, um, but on my full thoughts of this unit, but oh my goodness, Oh my goodness. I had to go ahead and start plucking the unit anyways. I know that it came pre-plucked, but I just wanted to try and make the hairline look as natural as possible um, with dealing with this damn lace all over the lace, which was a nightmare, okay? An absolute nightmare. But I went ahead anyways and I tweezed the hairline um, as I normally would. Um, that's kind of a general step for me in customizing my units. So I went ahead and just kind of made the hairline look a little bit more like my hairline uh, before I did anything else. Once I was pretty happy with how the hairline was looking, well, as much as I could make it look, I went ahead and I just blow dried her straight. Um, I didn't really do much styling, but I just made sure that I made all the hair push back because when you do apply your units, you don't want any flyaways coming over your lace. So I just went ahead and used my Dyson to blow dry her normally. And then I went ahead and picked up the brush component on the Dyson and just began to brush all the hair back um, so that it wouldn't be completely out of the way when I went ahead and applied my glue. All right, y'all, now that I got all that hair pushed back, I went ahead and I tried the unit on and oh my gosh, guys. <sighs> I want to cry. Look at that lace. It is so orange. This is not a vibe. I literally had to figure out something. I didn't know what to do. First, I was going to use RIT dye remover, um, but I was just too scared to try that. So I picked up my Sally Hansen self tanner and I actually picked up a color that is too light for me um, just because I wanted to really cover that orange. Um, and then I went ahead and just began uh, stippling it in with a stipple brush. And I was here for quite some time getting like the perfect, I guess, layer amount of um, of the tint, like lace tint, I guess. Um, but it was, oh my God, it was a lot of work. It was a lot, a lot of work. All right, now for the install process, I'm gonna just breeze right through this because I have plenty of videos on how to um, install your units, which I will link in the description box below as well as pop in the little corner right there. So you guys can check those out if you wanna see how I install my units a little bit more in depth. And then when we come back from installing, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on this unit. So let's start with our cons. So when it comes to the cons on this unit, as you saw, 
the lace, I don't know if they did a like water cap, um, not a water cap, water dye method, but whatever they did, that dye, the dye was all over the lace, all over the lace. So it was looking hella, hella, hella crazy. So I went in with that self tanner to spray to tint the lace, see if that would work because I really didn't want to do the dye remover that I mentioned in the video when I was customizing it, um, just because that is really harsh and I didn't want to take the orange out of the hair. So I was just like kind of iffy about doing that. So I just said, you know what, let me see if this lace tint works. Um, tinting the lace, it worked to an extent, um, but I think when I do go ahead and remove this unit, I am gonna go ahead and I am gonna just do the, the RIT dye remover and see if I, as much as I can get out of that um, lace, or I might even attempt first just putting on some like purple shampoo to see if I could take like the orangey color out of it. I just don't want it to turn too like red or I don't know if it would go gray even. I don't know. So I'll have to see, but I'll update you guys on that. Um, the other thing is, um, it says that this is a 20 inch unit. Usually 20 inches does come to here on me, but however, as you can see, these ends are straggly, honey. And when it this hair is straight, I put a little bit of waves in it just because when it is straight, it looks, my sister said I look like I'm ready for like, what is that that band called? Par, is it Paramore? I don't even know. Panic at the Disco, like the, I chimed in with, haven't you people ever heard of? Like it's very rocker, like it just looks straggly and nasty. So I just put some curls in it, but I am gonna go ahead and probably snip off these ends because they just look wild. So I don't really like that. Speaking of the hair quality itself and the density, let's move into our pros. This hair is very, very good quality hair. The, I would say like the bundles in the back are not as good as the frontal, but the hair on the frontal is bomb. It's, it's fire. Like the hair is so nice, it's so silky. The dye obviously took very well, um, and I like that they did kind of like that two-tone colors in here. Like there are pieces in here, obviously, as you can see at the bottom, that are a little bit more on the red side opposed to like this ginger up here. Um, as you guys, some of you may know, I have tried to do a ginger unit in the past, which I will link up here, which was a complete fail if you ever are going to purchase from the company that I'm linking the video to. Don't, because it's, it's not it, sis. But this... I mess with it. I mean, it's decent. I just wish that that lace being dyed that color just really like, it really took me for a ride and I was pissed. But I mean, I'm a rocker for a little bit. I mean, I'm not going nowhere, but I'm a rocket still and take some pictures and you know, let it vibe. But I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm feeling like a little Jessica Rabbit vibe going on or something. It's just, it's cute. Sorry, I keep looking at myself in my monitor because I'm actually, I am really feeling this hair. Like this color is, it's cute. It's cute. So hopefully if you guys are thinking of purchasing this unit and you did your research and you came across this video, hopefully it was helpful to you and you know what to look out for and you know to expect that dyed lace. Unless maybe this was just a fluke and I got a really bad one, but I mean, you get it. The unit is worth the purchase if you are up for the challenge of the lace okay but yeah so if you haven't already now will be the time to make sure you give the video a big thumbs up as well as hit that little subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys